Hey, Shazam 15 here. Alright, this week's movie was The Inbetweeners. Personally, I wouldn't have gone to go see this one, but I did have a special request that I review it. So I did. Okay, I've seen a couple of episodes of The Inbetweeners before on the fi in the TV series, so, you know, I was familiar enough with some of the characters to enjoy The Inbetweeners. I think the biggest thing that gets me about this film is it really does plug the realism. Because we all know people like Will, we know people like Jay, we know people like Neil, we know people like Simon. We know them all. We even know some of the characters that they meet. In partic the one that particularly stands out is Alison, who is in love with a Greek waiter boyfriend, and unfortunately we do know these people. They get all wound up about these foreign guys who show interest in them, who really don't aren't even worthy of their attentions. But instead they obsess over them and then get their hearts broken and still whine. Oh well. To be honest, this film is great if you're in that world that enjoys Lad's Holidays and you loved the Inbetweeners before that. It's not necessary if you haven't seen the Inbetweeners. And I've got to admit, having considered things, I don't think this film will export that well. Mostly because it revolves a lot around British concepts. I mean, you don't really get the last holiday in any other culture. Anyway, um, I am generally not from this world of lads holidays. I would have been bored out of my mind had I gone to one. Honestly, I found at best there were maybe six pretty girls in the entire film. Most of them were twigs with bad tans. I mean, honestly, it's vomit worthy. But, you know, there are a lot of people who like those kind of girls, so good on them. They've got a lot of them. That's generally the kind of girls you meet on a lads holiday. Right, there's bits of redemption. Anthony Head has a lovely role as the as Will's dad, who, quite frankly, I do think is insane. Compare his second wife to his first wife, and you're just going, what the hell was he thinking? Ooh, shouldn't have said that. My apologies. Um, right, what else is there to say? Ultralism, it's fun if you like Lads Holidays. It's very realistic to portrayal of the Lads Holiday. It's nice to see the lads who we've followed on the Inbetweeners grow up and actually learn some lessons. And, you know, I genuinely enjoyed it. Obviously, I didn't enjoy it as much as most of the audience, because most of the audience were more the kind of people who were into the sort of things that are in there. But if you're into the sort of things that are in there, it's good. If you're not, it's still reasonably funny, and the plot lines are amusing. Plus, a few of the gags work. Anyway, that's it. I personally didn't like it, but other people will. So, well, I kind of liked it, but I didn't like it. Yeah, it wouldn't have been something which I would have done by choice, but I would have enjoyed it going to see it. Anyway, um, yeah. Lads Holiday for me, bad. <laughs> Honestly, I agree. I kind of like some of the suggestions Anthony Head gave for Will's Holiday, because I'm a bit like Will. I honestly would have been happier with Trans-Siberia Railway. But that's just me! Oh yeah, and... Good lesson they teach you in in-between is, is... Always bet on the fat bird, she's lovely. <laughs> TTFM.